Greetings to all my tech heads out there in the Kev Techify Nation. And if you're new here, welcome. In this episode, we're going to be looking at MAC address table attacks. We'll be discussing switch operation overview, MAC address table flooding, and then finally, MAC address table attack mitigation. This episode is part of my series on switching, routing, and wireless essentials for the Cisco Certified Network Associate, also known as the CCNA. I'm Kevin here at Kev Techify. Let's get this adventure started. When we think about a layer two switch, we think about how it operates. When a device connects into that switch and it sends some data, that switch makes it makes a chart, makes a table here of what MAC address is on what port. In this example right here, we did the command show MAC address table dynamic. And so it's showing us those mappings. On port four here, our fast ethernet zero four, we have the this MAC address is associated with it. When another device connects in, another device boots up on Fast Ethernet 01 and has a different MAC address. And it slowly builds this table as devices connect in, as devices want to send data. It builds this table and it keeps track of it. And that helps with the efficiency of delivering data at the layer two level. The issue comes in is this MAC address table, the table is limited in size. So many megabytes in RAM there. Once that table fills up, then it starts deleting it. But while that table's full, what happens is the switch now gets in a new frame and it floods it out all the channels. And what can happen here is we have a threat actor. They run a piece of software called Mac of. Mac off, Mac of whatever it is, it doesn't have to do with a Mac computer, it has to do with Mac addresses, and it's a Mac overflow program. What it does is it floods the switch with a lot of fake Mac addresses. It floods it with so many that it fills up this limited size. It fills up all the RAM that's allocated to this Mac address table, it fills it up. It just it starts just bombarding it with thousands and thousands of Mac addresses, filling it up. Once it gets filled on switch two, it the MAC table overflows. And what we mean by overflow is that RAM, it fills up. Once that RAM is filled up, then any new frame that comes in, it treats it as an unknown unicast. That switch treats it as an unknown unicast. And it floods it out all the ports. Which means it comes any traffic that comes in, not only from the threat actor, but from legitimate users comes in and then it gets flooded back out out that connection that goes to the threat actor and now he can see all of the traffic all of the layer two traffic and he might be able to get some information off of that there is some limitations though the threat actor and they need to be on the same LAN, same local area network or in the same vlan if they're not in there, they're not going to see that because once again, this is an active access port. This access port is only set up to send one VLAN worth of information. In this example, our threat actors in VLAN 10, that's all they're going to see. They're not going to see VLAN 20. They're not going to see VLAN 30. They're only going to see VLAN 10. And so he's able to capture the traffic for all VLAN 10 users while he's doing this. Then once that data is captured, you can come back, analyze it, look for any vulnerabilities, any passwords sent in clear text. Mac off, the Mac overflow tool is a, is a pretty dangerous tool. The Cisco 6500 series switch, which is one of their bigger enterprise level ones, it can store up to 132,000 Mac addresses in its Mac address table. Mac off can give about 8,000 false MAC addresses in about eight seconds. That ARP cache stays full for at least two minutes, sometimes up to five minutes. And so there's a big window in there. Mac, the Mac off tool takes, I don't know, about 16, 17 seconds to fill up those 132 addresses with false information. 
with that false information in there, that stays, like I said, for a couple minutes. And so they can gather all that information and then they can just continue to run that Mac off tool and keep that buffer full. Now, how do we mitigate against it? We, we set up some port security. We look in saying, okay, we can only have one Mac address or two Mac addresses per port. And we can limit the number of attempts per second. It was my pleasure to provide you with this wonderful episode on Mac address table attacks. If you like this episode and you got value out of it, and of course, depending upon what platform you're using, please click that like button, give a five-star rating, leave a comment. This all helps me bring you more great content. Please take a minute to subscribe to my channel. All of my socials and contact information are on my website, captechify.com. There you can find out how to get all these episodes in video and podcast form. In the upper right is my playlist for my series on switching routing wireless essentials for the CCNA. In the bottom right is one of my favorite videos that I linked just for you. Thank you so much for watching this episode of my series on switching routing and wireless essentials. Once again, I'm Kevin. This is Kev Techify. I'll see you next time for another great adventure.